Today, we remember a final production from last year. And we talk with folks who promise more theater this year. Hi, I'm Jerry Kowarski. And I'm Bob Wilcox. Come with us to the theater and we'll tell you what we've seen from our two seats on the aisle. In The Elves and the Shoemaker, the Grimm brothers told one of their less grim tales. <laughs> no one gets lost in the woods or gets blinded by birds or has their toes cut off. The Shoemaker and his wife do struggle to put food on the table. When it comes to designing shoes, the Shoemaker has too much imagination. Even his special Christmas creation fails to sell when he takes it to the marketplace. So when he encounters a poor beggar woman shivering in the cold with shoes full of holes, he still has his fancy shoes, and kind-hearted man that he is, he gives them to the beggar woman. When he gets home and tells his wife Betty what he's done, she doesn't appreciate his kindness. That was his last pair of shoes. What will he sell? How will they eat? He sets to work with the few scraps of leather he has left, and exhausted, he falls asleep. And because this tale will have a happy ending, two elves appear while he sleeps. They just happen to be excellent cobblers. The public loves the shoes they make. They fly off the shelves like the latest iPhone. The cook buys a pair so she'll be comfortable standing in the kitchen. A pair of Russian dancers buy a pair each. Who needs good shoes more than dancers? Even the queen comes to buy a pair and to close a circle in the story. The Grimm's Tale has been turned into a charming play by Sarah Brandt with Neil Richardson's words and music for lyrical hopes and fears, joys and sorrows. The Repertory Theater's Imaginary Theater Company, which usually performs for audiences in schools, shared The Elves and the Shoemaker with everyone, as they do every year with one of their productions. Happily for audiences, Alan Knoll appears on stages everywhere, and here he not only directed the show, he divided himself among an elf, the cook in drag, a Russian dancer, a holiday shopper, and the queen's attendant. The other three performers were all new to me, and I hope it is not the last time I see them. Chris Tip Shoemaker was both lovable and pitiable and finally indomitable. Catherine Regan made a winsome Betty, the shoemaker's wife. She can sell a song and dance. Like Noel, Melissa Gurth made virtuoso work of multiple roles, an elf, the queen, the beggar, a dancer, a shopper. Scott Lobel's set and Dorothy Marshall Inglis's costumes put us in medieval folktale land. Laurie McConnell supplied the dance steps, and stage manager Mike Dowdy kept order through the cast multiple incarnations. Pleasantly amusing, and not a story that's worn out its holiday welcome with repetition. It was a lot of fun. It was, and delightful music. Let's hear some of it. 